Hey everyone, it's Fancy Rose here. Welcome to another video. Um, this time we're going to be playing through Splendor Threads, the prologue. It is an upcoming indie or point and click game that you can find on Steam. I'm um, not sure when it's going to be coming out exactly, but I figured let's go ahead and play the prologue. And yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. Don't make your living selling other people's books when you're trying to write your own. It seems brilliant at first. Immerse yourself in your craft, get a sense for what's popular, gather moments of inspiration from the unassuming corners of the world. But immersing yourself in anything eventually takes its toll. Ah, <sighs> oh, shit. Oh, you'd think a recurring nightmare would eventually get less, I don't know, nightmarish. I need to take a break, get out of this room for a bit. Go touch some grass, my dude. All right, pick up the pen, left click for quick action. Right click an object for more action. Open your inventory. Drag to combine. Oh, this is interesting. Click to use. Use the object on Harvey. Okay, so our name is Harvey. That same nightmare again. I should take a walk to clear my head. Okay. The art styles. Oh, I picked up another object. The art styles actually very. Uh, I like the aesthetic of it. Oh, wait, no, I want to talk about this. Small town hotel art at its ugliest. <laughs> Hasn't been the most successful sales trip so far. But hey, this town might want the whole pile. Can't imagine plants last long in here. So we picked up a housekeeping sign and script. Can I use it on myself? I guess not. Okay. Ooh. Judging by the state of my room, I don't want to see this one. Like a crime scene. Healthier than the one in my room. I'll give it that much. Can't see much at this hour. Maybe it's nighttime? There are more cigarette butts on the floor than there are in here. There's a do not disturb sign on the door. Not sure if anyone's staying in this room. Healthier than the one in my room, I'll give it that much. Well, if it isn't the traveling writer, Welcome to Villa Ventana. Have we met? Oh no, but I saw your suitcase full of books burst open on your way into the hotel. And since it sounds like you are indeed a writer, you simply must meet Oswaldo. Who's Oswaldo? Oh, a most charming and riveting storyteller. The life of every party he attends. In fact, he lives just a few doors down from here. Uh, thanks miss. I'll drop by. Do you tell him Gladys says hello. Gladys, why are you visiting from? You looked over to a place. You're looking elegant. Maybe too elegant for a place like this. Oh, I know, dear. Sadly, this filthy excuse for a hotel happens to be the only one for miles. Give it a rest, Gladys. I'll give it a rest when you learn how to brew a halfway decent cup of tea. <sighs> Crazy old bag. You love me. <laughs> Hey, I like the dialogue in this game so far. Where are you visiting from? Oh, about five blocks, give or take. You live here? 
Why are you staying in a hotel? Young man, vacationing is about mindset, not distance. You've traveled much farther than me to be here, but are you on vacation? Uh, good point. Take care. Sorry, I had to change the position of my camera so you could see the um, briefcase in the corner where I'm my in inventory set. Anyway. <clears throat> uh, hello? <clears throat> I know you. Harvey Green, uh, room three? Okay. Um, do you have a map of town I can borrow? Hmm. That's odd. People don't usually ask for maps. You're not in the book. Huh? Uh, maybe the morning guy forgot to add me when I checked in. <sighs> yeah, maybe. So... Map? On the stand behind you. Stands empty. Well then, guess I'm out of maps. Guess so. Thanks. No problem. You see his face? He's got like cracks. <laughs> All right. Little touches like this help distract from all the stains. Locked. Damn. Okay. Well, let's go out then. The evening air is perfect. I'll give the town that much. It's been here at least as long as I have. Hope it doesn't rain. Even the music in this game is something. Oh, I thought something was going to happen. Sorry. I haven't <gasps> heard any trains so far. I wonder if this is abandoned. Oh, hey there, little fella. Where are you off to? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, <gasps> no! What the hell was that? Welcome to Villa Ventana, your window to a better life. Window? I feel like a door would be more helpful. Wait, can I go follow? No. Them? No way. I don't know what that creature was, and I don't want to find out. Aww. Sorry, little bunny rabbit. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh. Seriously, who the hell was that, though? Old neglected barrels and crates. There's some things I can interact and others I can't. Ooh. Exercise extreme caution when crossing. Why? I haven't seen a single car on the road. Oh, what? All of a sudden I'm going to cross the road and there's going to be a car? Get out of the road! I say so. <laughs> Watch it, buddy! Hey, you trying to get killed? Dude! How is this happening every single time? Deja vu doesn't even begin to describe it. All right. Well, I guess the crosswalks out are there. Coming up next on Among the Shadows, murder most foul. New radio drama. Most Haven't heard of this one. And what role will recent arrival Harvey Green play in these troubling events? Wait, what? Hey, who's in there? How do you know my name? Oswaldo? This isn't funny. I'm going inside. Oh, I just Hello? Like this looks abandoned. Or worse. Wait a second, so who's listening to the radio? And where is the radio? First off, I would like to point out, there were scratch marks on the ground right next to the door. I don't know if you guys saw that. And second off, oh, looks like a conspiracy theorist or something. I think the radio sounds station. like it's coming from in there. Yep. Oh, it's locked. Why? It's filthy. Just like everything else in here. Looks like someone ambushed the place. Was there a struggle here? Why else would all these chairs be knocked over? I think it's broken. 
The wall is covered in newspaper clippings, pictures, and scribbles. But why is there a crossword puzzle in the middle here? And what are these paper scraps stuck around it? The remaining letters spell Telltale Heart. In that story, the narrator hides a body under the floor. I hope Oswaldo didn't consider that a source of inspiration. Wait, what story? There's a crease in the corner of the rug, as if it's been folded up recently. Am I really going to look under there? I have to, right? Huh? Something down there is reflecting light from the window. It's a key. Ah. Never hiding spot. Who locks a running radio inside their All right. Let's see. This looks like it fits. Stop right there. Don't move. Uh. Good god, what the hell's going on in here? Uh. Who are you? What's your name? <laughs> uh We should probably tell him the truth cuz I feel like if we lie to him, it's going to be a very very bad time. For Harvey Green. My name is Harvey Green. I'm in town for business. I'm staying over at the... What business? Uh, books. I sell books. I have a card in my pocket. Uh, can I... Slowly. Hmm. What's all this on the wall? What have you been doing? Nothing. No, I, I, I don't know what any of this is. Bullshit. It's true. I've only been here for a few minutes. I've been in here for just a few minutes. I've been in town less than a day. Whatever's on that wall, it must have taken weeks. Let's say I believe you. Why are you in here? Uh, uh I heard my name on a ri- No, that's just gonna make us sound loony. Someone recommended I come back. A woman at the hotel suggested I meet Oswaldo. Describe her. O older, dressed like she was at the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> That's Gladys, all right. Uh. Mr. Green, do you have any knowledge of Oswaldo's current whereabouts? No, Sheriff. Then I have a missing person on my hands. <sighs> Listen to me. I don't know what the hell's going on in this room. I do know that if people caught wind, it'd cause a town-wide panic. No shit. So you and I are gonna make a deal. I let you walk straight back to your hotel, and you tell no one about what you saw. Say a word or skip town, and I personally escort you to a jail cell. Do we understand each other? Yes, Sheriff. Good. Now get out of here. Shit, shit. Breaking into a house? What was I thinking? Am I losing it? No, I swear I heard my name coming from in there. Mm -hmm. I didn't imagine it. I, I couldn't have. And even if I did, I couldn't have imagined all that other stuff I saw in there. I can't just sit in here and ignore it. For starters, this is the only interesting thing that's happened in months. Well, you must live a very dull life. Well, that went from zero to 100 very quickly. Now what? I guess... Seems appropriate that I'm staying in a room as disheveled as I am. My nerves are too shot to sleep. I was gonna say, look... Look at him. He's got, he's literally got holes in his clothes. Now what? Maybe we should go back. Are we gonna get in trouble? 
Well, there's only one way to find out. Shite! Good evening, officer. Evening, mister... Oh, uh, I don't believe we've met. My name's ha uh, Hugo. Victor Hugo. I'm a tourist. A tourist? Huh, we don't get many of those. Well, welcome to Villa Ventana, Mr. Hugo. Stay out of trouble and all that. Uh, 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 uh. What happened in there? I'm afraid I can't comment on that, Mr. Hugo. Scene's still under investigation. As in crime scene? Well, that's what the sheriff's gonna figure out in the morning. Ugh, I probably shouldn't have said that even. Can I look inside? Any chance I could take a look inside? I'm something of a... Aspiring mystery writer? How did you... Suspenders. Right. I'm sorry, Mr. Hugo. We need to make sure nothing's disturbed. You're just gonna have to use your imagination. Writers are good at that, aren't they? You sure I can't peek in there for just a second? I'm sure, Mr. Hugo. Sheriff's orders. Rats. Is it safe for me to be out at this hour? Are you keeping out of the crosswalk over there? Uh, yes. Then you're fine. What's so dangerous about it? I wish I knew. Almost every time we're called out, it's because some pedestrian got hit. No wonder. An enormous creature jumped out at me at the edge of the woods. Ha! <laughs> First time in deer country, Mr. Hugo. This was no deer. It was brown. Like a deer. Totally silent. Like a deer. You don't understand. It... Relax, Mr. Hugo. You're not the first to get spooked. I promise the deer will leave you alone if you give them the same courtesy. Good sir. I can reassure you, it wasn't a deer. <laughs> Hell, it caught a freaking bunny. And I'm pretty sure deer don't catch bunnies. Right. Officer, I think I hear screaming. Someone needs help. I do appreciate your concern, Mr. Hugo, but I don't hear a thing. It's faint, but I'm sure it's there. L listen again. Mr. Hugo, I think you could use a couple more hours of sleep, huh? Are you really not hearing the screaming? It sounds like it's coming from one block over. Please don't take this the wrong way, Mr. Hugo, but our town does have a world-famous psychiatric sanatorium. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Nothing, Mr. Hugo. Nothing at all. Not fucking crazy, go okay? Stay safe. Rats. Wait. Oh. Get out of the road! Nah, still can't go over. Radio show just mentioned me by name, but where's the radio? Oh, it's giving me like a uh, play by play of what's been going on. Sounds like it's locked inside of Oswaldo's desk. This might looks like it might fit. Oh, this key looks like it may fit. Oswaldo says, I need to get back into Oswaldo's house. Something's up. There's a cop guarding the door. Maybe I can distract him. What if I made up some kind of emergency? Maybe if it looks like somebody's injured. Or do I find a decoy that looks human? Right. Well, look at that! Huh. That's a whole mannequin. A little beat up, but it's in one piece. Maybe I could clean it up and sell it. Maybe we can use this as a decoy. Give me a whole mannequin, right? Just a typical mailbox. And I can't go in there. The Sumptuous garments for the discerning elitist. It's closed. A decoy looks human. And where do I find the extra clothes for it? Surely hotel keeping has some extra laundry. What a way to get housekeeping's attention. Oh. Okay. I think I got it. I do have that how that um housekeeping sign. That 
McDonald's already got a sign on it. This guest wouldn't mind a bit of tidying, right? Yee. Five minutes later. <gasps> it's full of cleaning key. supplies. Laundry key. All right, now we can go into the laundry room. <laughs> Still. Right. You gotta use the key on. How would that help? Like that, buddy. Huh. That might be useful for later. It's the hotel's furnace. Given it's July, it probably hasn't been on for a while. These are all still wet. Very wet. Mm. Clean and dry. Let's see. Ooh, some of these are sharp. Might help me close a sale or two while I'm here. They're for washing clothes. Any loose change? <sighs> nope. Rats. Okay, we got what we wanted. Let's go out and... Make an accident happen. Luckily, we're using a decoy. Close on. Great. Now the mannequin's dressed better than I am. <laughs> this should go. look like the real deal to that cop. Here goes nothing. Right. Yay. <laughs> Shit. Shit. That wasn't supposed. Oh, God. What if I. I, I... I know this man. From my... That worked a little too well. Uh, 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 oh, God. Oh. Oh, good Lord! Did you see what happened, Mr. Hugo? I... I, I didn't. I, I heard a crash, and, um... This damn crosswalk! Sign's useless! Get back to your hotel, Mr. Hugo. I'll call an ambulance. Yes, officer. I just... I just wanted to get into that house. If I keep it down, hopefully he won't even realize I'm in here. The radio should still be in that desk. Time to take a look. We're just gonna pretend that didn't happen, okay? Oh God, I feel so bad. There it is. And it's turned off? How? Whatever, I need to find that station. Supernatural stuff, man. See? No light, no shadows, Oswaldo. No light, no shadows. No light, no shadows. No light, no... Coming up next, you are next. Oh. No, it's happening. I have to warn Lena. Uh, what did I just... Uh, that was him. He was right in front of me. And, and that thing just took him. What did you find, Oswaldo? Okay. Oswaldo must have kept other useful items inside his desk. He's got a diary. Oh, wait. Shit. Oswaldo's diary. Hmm. There's several references to a Lena. Must be the same Lena he mentioned in that vision. Wherever she is, I have to find her. I imagine it'll be easier than finding Oswaldo. Yeah. 3rd of June. Lena was in that book club, so I stopped by after. She opened the door the instant I knocked and asked if I felt the pull that brought me. What the hell does that mean? I hope she just had a fever. 7th of June. Full of what? I was concerned for Lena, so I checked in on her. Why can't I stop thinking about this? I need to talk to her again. 
10th of June. She opened the door and asked the same question. Suddenly, I realized the answer was yes. She brought me inside and told no. I shouldn't write it down. 13th of June. Can't shake the suspicion that she's right. Need to know for sure. Brought home everything the town archives would part with. Need to cancel plan. Oh, 15th of June. It's true. It's gotta be. So many flukes, so many coincidences were caused by some force moving pieces into place. Is that same force causing me to discover this? How could I even tell? Yeah, it's like a, like... I don't know, like, you know when you go off into one of those, like, moods where you just start sketching and drawing shit out of, like, nowhere? Really? Nobody? Okay. 17th of June. Went to Lena's to share my findings, but no answer. A neighbor told me what happened. I must find a way to reach her, but carefully. If I'm right, even listening to the radio is a threat. Can't drop my guard for a moment. Shit. This is a game of light and shadows. Our actions each cast a light, each light in turn casts a shadow. Somehow those shadows can bend the light that casts them. It follows that I must cast no light. I'm getting too close. I must be vigilant. No light, no shadows. Oh, map. Did the radio cause my vision of Oswaldo? How? I can grab from here. Guess not. Let's, see. Let's check our findings. There's nothing else in Oswaddle's desk. Time to get out of here. Well, I'm pretty sure if we go through the front, we're gonna be in like a lot of trouble. Ooh, scissors. Let's take those. Maybe go through the bathroom? Pretty boring assortment of magazines, especially given what's in the other room. Ugh. Classic bathroom sink. Okay, so it's a good thing we went through the bathroom and not the front. Um, let's see if we can explore some more things here. I can go through 1st Street, or I can go through Main Street Central. Let's go down this way. Hmm. Coming soon. I wonder how long these have been coming soon. House for sale. Hello? Does any house in this town have people in it? This one does now. What the Fosca Moretti? Realtor. <laughs> Licensed and accredited. And to whom do I have the pleasure of showing this magnificent piece of real estate? Oh, ho, ho, I am not in the market for a... Oh, ho, ho. Everybody's in the market, my friend. Some of us are just standing a little closer to the register. Your name? Uh, Harvey. Well, I have to say, Mr. Harvey, seeing you here in this immaculately tiled parlor, I see a man of purpose. Am I wrong? I have a job, if that's what you mean. Not a job, Mr. Harvey. <laughs> a calling, a yearning from within. You, Mr. Harvey, you aspire. I suppose I'm writing a... An author, my God. God, I stand in the presence of a modern-day Hemingway. You know he's still alive, right? Mr. Harvey, you must agree that every great writer requires an equally great writing environment. I, uh... Where do you currently do your writing? Uh... Hotel rooms. I travel a lot for work, so mostly from hotel rooms. Hotel rooms? Oh, so drab, so... Utterly lacking in ambiance. No, no, that won't do at all. What an artist like you needs, Mr. Harvey. Is a house. But not just any house. This house. This house? <laughs> okay, listen, I'm gonna stop you right there. 
I'm definitely not buying this house, and I definitely don't want you assuming otherwise. I understand, Mr. Harvey. Thank you. You just need a little more time to see what I see. <sighs> Which is? That you and our sleepy little town are destined for each other. And when you come to that realization, I will be here. I promise you'll be the first to know. I guess the bar is a nice feature. Much more for you than for me. What do you mean? Your torso extends above it. Or as I... This guy seems more like a con artist than a realtor, if you ask me. So what'll it be, Mr. Harvey? Why is the house for sale? Did somebody move out? In a sense. They died, didn't they? In every sense. Uh... Foul play? Hardly. The man was over 90. We were starting to take bets on when he'd keel over. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. How's business? A lot of turnover around here? Just enough to keep me afloat. At least there's no competition. <laughs> Most of the families in this town have been here for generation upon generation. Newcomers are rather uncommon. <laughs> Welcome, of course, but uncommon. Do you know the address of a woman named Lena? I know the address of most everyone in town, Mr. Harvey. <laughs> but I fear I can't divulge such information. Why not? I am privy to it solely for official property matters. City Hall would have my head were I to violate my sacred realtor's oath. <laughs> yes, indeed. Take your time. I must say I'm thoroughly enjoying this game so far. I'm afraid that's locked. And empty. If it's empty, why is it locked? Well, at the previous open house, a devilish little girl hid in there and promptly fell asleep. Had half the town out looking for her when she popped out looking right as rain. The usual kitchen equipment. Ooh, oven's seen better days. Works just the same. Heat is heat, after all. I suppose that's true. A beat up old. Please don't disturb the basket, Mr. Harvey. Those goods are reserved for the buyer, whoever she or he happens to be. Right. It's a Schlegelman upright, yes. Impeccable eye, Mr. Harvey. What gave it away? The understated, perfectly joined paneling? Or the iconic front legs? I was just going to say it's a piano. Ah, indeed it is, Mr. Harvey. Indeed it is. If I go up there, the realtor will pester me even harder about buying. I think there was a room I missed, right? Yep. Someone left some lotions and cologne here. Guilty. A realtor must look and smell his best. Closet looks a little small. An optical illusion, Mr. Harvey, I assure you. This closet features no fewer than 200 cubic feet of space. I was almost inclined to list it as a second bedroom. <laughs> I'm not so sure. I don't think I could fit much in there. A skeptic? <laughs> I respect that. <laughs> Allow me then to demonstrate. Just one side of this closet can house a full-bodied man such as myself, with space to spare. I believe it. Goodness! If this closet has walls, I for one can't reach them! It's too short to fit across both knobs. Damn it. Might we proceed with the rest of the tour? For now, at least. Splendid. Kind of hoping I could lock in the closet. Looks like a decent selection. Looks like it's closed right now. I don't feel sick anyway. For now.
It sounds like something's back there. Ah! Don't know why. That's actually happened to me in real life. I came home from work. My dad had put the trash can out, and all of a sudden, uh, just as I got closer and closer to it, this cat literally jumped out of it and scared the crap out of me. In the morning of all time. Jeez. Evening, sir. Evening. Huh. What is this house? Sir, you stand at the majestic wrought iron gates of the Villa Ventana Sportsman Society. The what now? It's a hoity-toity hunting club. Oh. Can I take a look around the grounds? I'm doing some sightseeing. At the moment? Absolutely not. However, in a few hours' time, the estate will host a soiree that is open to the public. If you care to explore, that will be the ideal and legal time to do so. Got it. Thanks. I don't remember that. Nothing to see beyond here. Okay, I guess we can go over to the other street then. Where did that cat even go? Ugh, I can smell it from here. The sweet, sweet. It's closed. Dang it. Oh, sweet. Evening, friend. Care for a motor tour? Motor tour? Like a regular tour, but with a little something extra. You mean a motorcycle? Bingo! What's the tour route? Right up Ventana Hill. Killer views up there, along with our observatory. And then back down, I assume? Oh, walking back down's half the fun. It's the getting up there part that needs a little extra horsepower. Are you sure that thing's safe? You kidding? Villa Ventana's streets are some of the safest around. You know, besides the deadly and gruesome car accident earlier this evening. Uh, uh, you, you don't say, good sir. Oh, there, there was a car accident? You didn't hear it? It was a block or so that way toward the hotel. Couldn't tell whose car it was, but I could tell they didn't make it. I thought all the talk about that crosswalk was garbage. Now I'm not so sure. Do you know a person named Lena? Lena? Hmm, maybe rings a bell. Don't think I've met her. Okay, thanks. All right, I'll do the tour. Great. Now, as to the small matter of payment. <laughs> I'm strapped at the moment. Any chance I could ride for free? By any chance, do you mean zero chance? Mm, no. Then no. I'm good for now. You're missing out. I'm usually booked solid on an evening this nice. That's where you are. Ooh. Hey there. What do you got? Hot dogs. Anything else? Things that go on hot dogs. How eclectic. I uh, think I'm all out of eclectics. Okay. Selling a lot of hot dogs? Not yet. Waiting for folks to start stumbling out of the bar. After a few rounds, these things go straight from suspicious to delicious. <laughs> you speak the truth. Uh. Isn't it about time to wash that apron? Hell no. Gotta keep expectations low. <laughs> if I look clean, the hot dogs look even filthier by comparison. Hey, is there a woman in town named Lena? Lena? Oh, sure. I don't see her too often. She's a vegetarian. 
Do you know where she lives? Sure don't. Someone over there in City Hall should, though. Hmm. Right. Thanks. One hot dog, please. That'll be three fifty. I'll, um, pay you tomorrow? Then I'll, um, give you a hot dog tomorrow. <laughs> Anything I could take off your hands for free? Got a few expired ketchup packets. How expired are we talking? Sir, that is a very sad question. <laughs> Just give me the damn packets. Oh, what, are we gonna use that for, like, blood or something? Watch that actually happen. Okay, let's go check this out. Historical Archives Museum and Office. We interact with the bus? I guess not. Alright, we'll just go. To it's the first construction paper settlers arriving in construction paper Villa Ventana. Historical documents from the town's early years, letters and contracts and the like. Wonder if they're replicas or the real deal. Mm. A wax statue. It's a dusty wax statue of some old leader. The town's founder, maybe. Ugh, it's sticking to my finger. I'm surprised it hasn't melted. Ew. It's a badly printed replica of the original town charter. Wait. Did they really put don't eat the mushrooms in their founding document? <laughs> Jaunty. Okay. An old treasure map. Maybe this town used to be a pirate refuge. Hmm. Okay. I don't know if there's anything I need to do here or why it looks such a wreck. It's just as cluttered as the shelves. A complete mess of books, binders, and historical artifacts. If this room uses an organizational system, I'm not seeing it. There's something I'm supposed to be finding in here, because I... You lost. It's just as... You've lost. Okay, let's get out of here. Clerk's office. Restrooms for city employees only. What? No, I don't need to use the restroom. Then why on earth did you come in here? Is this city hall? Last I checked. When was that? When my shift started about, I don't know, a thousand years ago. Has a man named Oswaldo been here recently? Not recently enough. He's late. Late? He checked out a pile of old newspapers from the archives. I made it very clear that he had to return them within three days. Haven't seen him since. Cheap bastard probably used them for kindling. Yeah, about that, I don't think you're gonna be getting your newspaper. I'm in town for work and thought I'd see the sights. Uh-huh. And which site were you interested in seeing exactly? The cabinet jammed with unsorted census surveys? I, I don't know. The building looked big. Figured there'd be something to look at. If you're that desperate for something to do, there's a little Villa Ventana Museum one room over. Don't bother telling me the exhibits are falling apart. I already know, and I already don't care. I'm looking for the address of... Credentials? I beg your pardon? All requests from municipal residential data require valid authentication from the requesting party. Um, I beg your pardon again? <sighs> I need proof that you're allowed to view town housing records. So, you got proof or not? Oh, I, uh, left it at home. I I'll be back. I'm sure you will. Later. Oh, yeah, okay. I, I wasn't just a little prank idea. I really do need to lock him in the closet so I can get his stuff. Damn it. Oh, so Otto's diary mentioned Alina. I need to find her. Somebody in this town must know where she lives. I need to convince the clerk at City Hall to give me Alina's address. You won't tell me anything unless I have the right credentials. I bet real estate agents are allowed to view housing records, see? 
Maybe I can find a way to get Bosco stuck in that closet. All right. So I'm guessing the wrench is part of the plan, but what else do I need to get him locked in? I said it was too short to get across both door knobs. I don't know. Let's keep exploring this round. Vino Ventana. Can I not get Vino? Okay, I can't. Ooh, casino. Oh, hello. If I had any money on me, this would be a great way to lose it. Huh. The most worked up you'll ever see adults get over a marble. <laughs> Crap, people. If you aren't the one loading the dice, they're probably loaded against you. A swanky place. Cashing in or out? Uh. Cashing in. Excellent, sir. Your funds? Uh, funds? Money, sir. For your chips. Oh, right. Money. You do have money, yes? If you don't, I must... Oh, no, of course I do. It's in my other wallet. I'll be back. Harvey, don't you have any money on you? Oh. Hungry House Cafe. Evening. Obviously. Randolph, don't be rude to the wino. He looks like he's had a rough life. Rude? Encouraging to see at least one person with a book. Hungry House Cafe. Cute. Huh. Yes? My name is Harvey Green, and I'm a salesman with McGinty. I'd love to- McGinty? I don't recall their ever sending someone out this way. I believe they haven't, ma'am. I'm here to test the waters, so to speak. How are the waters so far? Lukewarm. <laughs> Not surprised. Wouldn't say the neighboring towns are known for their readers. <laughs> You'd like to sell to me, then? Oh, why not, Mr. Graham? Green. Bring your samples along tomorrow, and I'll take a look. I appreciate it, Mrs... Oh, Pamela's fine. Pamela. All right, thank you. Was there anything else? Move a lot of books lately? Can't complain. Business can't be that bad when there's no competition. <laughs> Only bookstore in town, huh? Great. Others pop up now and then. They all go under trying to compete with the sweet old lady. <laughs> Vicious. Do you do anything special to bring people in? Oh, plenty. You'll notice the sale bins for starters. We also have a couple of accomplished authors right here in Villa Ventana. I bring them in for readings and signings and the like. Tomorrow we'll be hosting Paul Frey. Ever heard of him? Real heady type. I happen to be a bit of an author myself, and, uh... Oh, you must forgive me. It's been a long day. If you have something for me to read, could it wait until tomorrow? Oh, uh, right. Certainly. Feel free to browse. Of course these are on sale. <laughs> Never even heard of most of them. Of course... Tonight, local author Paul Frey reads from his latest novel. Decent selection, but a bit dated. Might actually be able to sell some books here. Oh, there's some good news right there. I also like how he navigates in this game. Ah. 
Sorry, pal. This whole part of town's under construction. Wow, that sounds like a pretty major development project. Tell me about it. Back again, eh? I told you, construction. I don't follow. Well, that is. All right. Hungry House Cafe. Hungry House Cafe. Let's see if we can go back over to uh, a real estate agent. on the door. Ah, oh, look! There he is. I'm having trouble visualizing the closet space again. Say no more, Mr. Harvey. Observe. Voila! Why, I do believe I could comfortably remain in here all day. Mr. Harvey, uh, the door appears to be jammed. <laughs> Could I trouble you for assistance? Uh-oh, it's really stuck. Not to worry. Very common with these older units. <laughs> Try sliding this into the latch, would you please? It's not working. Uh, hold tight. I'm gonna go get help. Oh, um, all right. <laughs> please do hurry, Mr. Harvey. <laughs> Spacious though it is, I fear I failed to inspect this closet for... Bugs and such. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here and go back over to City Hall. Hello there. Welcome back to Purgatory. <laughs> All right. Listen, I seem to have misplaced my credentials. I'm not looking for anything top secret, though. I, I just need... No credentials, no records, no exceptions. Alrighty. Don't be a stranger. Here you are, my official realtor badge. This doesn't look like you. I've had work done. Ha! <laughs> You've had work done to look like that? Ouch. Listen, I'm sure this is all a misunderstanding. How about you go return that badge to its rightful owner, and I don't go get the sheriff right now. Yep. Deal. Damn it. That was this badge, but I look nothing like his photo. Maybe if I got my own photo on there somehow. I got a photo of myself somewhere. Hey. I don't see the point. Not sure why I'd do that. Not sure why I'd do that. No. I'll just cut my photo off the back cover. I have plenty more copies of this thing. I need something to stick it on there. That would just ruin the photo. K. 
Ketchup wouldn't stay on there. Wait. Yeah. Matches wouldn't be enough to melt this. What would that do? How would that help? Not sure why I'd do that. Not sure why I'd do that. What would that do? It's a sticky wax statue of a town historic. It's a sticky wax statue of a town historic figure. Not sure why I'd do that. This wax isn't quite sticky enough to stay on. How would that help? Not sure why I'd do that. I'm not much for cigars, but a cigar cutter might come in handy. I don't know how I missed that, but... Well, I didn't really think about picking it up. Okay. And now we should be able to cut the wax finger off. I realized I was supposed to touch the gift basket in the house in order to get this cigar cutter, so I should be able to cut that wax statue's finger off and then melt it to use as glue. So that makes sense. It was kind of dumb how I missed it in the first place, though. It's anyway. a sticky wax statue. Your pointing days are at an end, I'm afraid. I'm sure. A match isn't enough to melt it. A match isn't enough. The wax isn't sticky enough to stay on there. Maybe if I heated it first. Mm. It's a sticky wax. It's a badly printed. Wait, did they really put don't eat? So look how like killed this one. Kind of neat. Uh... This wax should worse, but I need to heat it up first. Didn't I see a stove? Oh, okay. Now we gotta go back to the house. neat how they make you like think of how to use each object in order to progress further into the game okay let's see if this will work hopefully he's still locked upstairs i mean in the bedroom right there How would that help? Oh, buddy. Mm -hmm. 
I've stuck the wax. I'll consider it a minor miracle if this fools anyone. All right. Perhaps we should. The stove's lit. <laughs> Can't say it's my. Or just lit. Also, sorry, I don't mean to be like clicking on stuff randomly like that. I literally have to drag my mouse in order for him to move around. All right, so this should now work on the clerk at City Hall. There you go. Found my badge. It was under my bed. Hand it over. <sighs> was that really so hard? Now what was it that you even needed? The address of a woman named Lena. Last name? Um, not sure. The telegram with the requisition was smudged. Ah, oh, typical. Just a moment. Ah, oh, it's always something with these guys. Where the hell was that binder? Lucky for you, there's only one Lena in our records. You have a map? There you go. And hey, what a coincidence, it's finally quitting time. Wait, uh, which side of the street is... <laughs> Never mind, I'll figure it out. Uh... Oh, great! Oh, I should have held on to that umbrella. I better hurry. This has to be the place. Seems obvious now that I'm here. I don't see anyone around, including the sheriff. Time to get some answers. Where is it even at? Hello? Lena? No one's here, as usual. I have a bad feeling about this. Another radio. Could it show me what happened in here? Only one way to find out. Mm. Now, where are you, Lena? Help! Let me go! I can't help you! I, I see strands. It's something. Something's coming. Something's coming! Uh. to arrival the rest of this mystery don't forget to add the game to your wish list no don't don't throw don't hang, leave me hanging like that god it was just getting good too darn it well that's the end of the prologue for slender threads you guys if you really like this game you can go ahead and add it to your wish list on steam um, I don't know when the rest of the game will come out, but I'm definitely going to be playing this game, obviously. I really enjoyed it. I really like the fluid animation of Harvey moving throughout the game. Um, the puzzles weren't too bad after, you know, you went around exploring throughout the town. Uh, I really liked the, um, voice acting in this game, especially right towards the end. That was, that actually got a little bit of chills, um, for me, but yeah. All right, so there you go. Um, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.